Number 52. What would be the maximum cost of a CFL such that the total cost, meaning the investment plus the operating cost, would be the same for both CFL and incandescent 60 watt bulbs? Assume that, oh, this is fun. Assume that the cost of the incandescent bulb is 25 cents and that electricity costs 10 cents per kilowatt hour. <clears throat> Calculate the cost for a thousand hours. All right, so first let's find the total cost of running. Let's find the cost of total cost of running an incandescent 60 watt bulb, okay? So total cost of running a 60 watt incandescent bulb will be equal to, and by the way, I created this formula in number 50, so check that one out, okay? I'm gonna run through it here. So this is the cost divided by the number of joules, uh, multiplied then by the number of joules that are used, okay? This is known as the, right here, is known as the rate, okay? This is the rate that your electricity company is gonna charge you, but they like to give it in 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And I don't like to work with kilowatt hours. I like to work with joules. So I remember a simple conversion, very simple conversion that one kilowatt hour is equivalent to 3.6 times 10 to the sixth joule. So in other words, uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is take this 10 cents per kilowatt hour, and I'm going to then 10 cents per one kilowatt hour and convert that now into then cents per joule, okay? So kilowatt hour on the top, joule on the bottom. For every one kilowatt hour, it's 36, or 3.6 times 10 to the six joules. Bye-bye kilowatts. And take 10 now. Take the value of 10 and divide it by 3.6 times 10 to the uh, sixth. So this works out to be 2.78 times 10 to the minus six. Now this is cents per joule, okay? So that's how many cents. If you need it in dollars, yeah, why don't we convert it into dollars, right? So cents on the bottom, dollars on the top, 100 cents and a dollar, bada bing, bada boom, see you later cents, and now it comes out to be 2.78 times 10 to the minus eight dollars per joule. So what we just found here is we just simply found now the cost per joule, okay? That's all it is, very simple. Now what I need to do is I need to find the number of joules that are used by this bulb, okay? The 60 watt bulb. So uh, in order to find this, right, we have to remember what it means to be a 60 watt bulb. So remember, 60 watts is the same thing as saying 60 joules per second. In other words, a 60 watt bulb will consume 60 joules of energy every single second. All right, that's what it means. So if you run the bulb for one second, how much energy are you consuming? 60 joules. If you run it for two seconds, how much? 120 joules. If you run it for three, etc., etc. Now the question is, well, how many seconds are we going to run the bulb? Well, it said calculate the cost for a thousand hours. So we're going to run it for a thousand hours. Okay. So what I need to do essentially, instead of having seconds on the bottom, I need hours because if I can figure out the joules per hour, all right, then what I can do is just simply multiply it by those 1,000 hours. Or we could take the thousand hours and convert it into seconds and then plug it in. It doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to convert this into, because I already got it set up, seconds to hours, and I know that there's 3,600 seconds in one hour. So the seconds go bye-bye, and if I were to stop the calculation here, I would have found the number of joules consumed every single hour that this thing is run. And it should make sense that it is a multiplication here between the 60 and the 3,600. Uh, 3, but I'm not running it for an hour, I'm running it for a 1,000 hours. So now what I have to do is I gotta multiply then that value by 1,000. So let's calculate. So 60 times 3,600 multiplied then by 1,000. And this is gonna come up to be 2.16 times 10. Bear with me since it didn't convert it into scientific. One, two, and I have to close one eye because I can't see anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, otherwise I go cross-eyed, so this is eight. And this now is joules, just joules, period, right? And this is now the number of joules over the thousand hours, right? So basically now what I found is this represents now the total number of joules that have been utilized over the thousand hours, okay? So what I can now do is I can finally find the total cost of running this thing, of running the 60 watt bulb. So I'm gonna take the 2.78 times 10 to the negative eight dollars per joule, multiply that now by 2.16 times 10 to the eight joules, and if we notice, that'll tell us the dollars, 
right? So the total cost here, total cost is going to be equal to, let's just erase some of this, all right? Let's get this all out of here. All right, and let's plug it in. So we got 2.16, blah, 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 times 10 to the eight multiplied by two point, now is technically seven, 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 seven. Try to use that exact value if you can. Doesn't really matter if you don't. Times 10 to the negative eight, and this works out to be basically $6, right? So the total cost of running this thing is gonna be six bucks. Running it is $6, okay? That's the cost of running it, but how much did you have to pay in the beginning for the bulb? Well, you had to pay 25 cents, right? So the total cost now overall, investment plus, you invested your 25 cents in the bulb, and now you had to pay $6 over the thousand hours you used it. So the total cost now overall is going to be six dollars and 25 cents for the 60 watt bulb okay now what i need to do is uh it, it's asking us now what would be the maximum cost of this other light bulb that we should purchase or that we should invest in right so imagine that it costs nothing to run this other bulb this cfl okay imagine it costs nothing well, then I'd be willing to pay $6.25 if I'm going to run it for 1,000 hours, right? If I'm going to run it for 1,001 hours, then obviously my price would change and I have to redo the calculation. But what we need to do now is it's not cost less to run the CFL, but it, it consumes less energy. It only consumes now 15 watts. So what I have to do is I now have to find then the total cost of operating now the 15 watt CFL. Where did it say 15 watts, by the way? It didn't. That's what we have to assume. If you go back in the text, I think that's what it says. So, you know, we can assume whatever value we want, though, but, you know, let's assume 15 watts, okay? So we have to go through all those calculations again. I'm going to speed through that, okay? So 15 watts is the same thing as joules per second, right? I don't want to know it per second. I need to know it. We're going to be running this over a 1,000 hours. So seconds on the top, hours on the bottom, 3,600 seconds in an hour. And then we're going to multiply that by 1,000 hours. That will get me now the number of joules. Right? Okay. So 15 multiplied by 3,600 multiplied by then 1,000. So now this works out to be 5.4 times 10 to the, hold on one second, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, times seven. And this is now in terms of joules, all right? So this is how many joules are gonna be utilized. Now the energy, this is in blue, and this still is the same value here in my formula. The cost, by the way, of running it, has it, the cost per joule hasn't changed. You're still being charged by the same electric utility. So I can now simply find that total cost of operating it. So this is the 2.78 times 10 to the negative eight. So we don't really have to run through it all again. So I guess I kind of was fibbing on that. Then we're gonna multiply that by now the new value, 5.4 times 10 to the seventh. All right, and that is now in terms of joules. So the total cost here will be equal to 2.7777 times 10 to the minus eight, multiply that by 5.4 times 10 to the minus, excuse me, times 10 to the seventh. And we come up with a value here of now, the total cost of operating this thing is going to be 1.50 basically, dollars, okay? So that's how much it costs to operate it. So now, right, so it's 1.5 dollars, that should kind of make sense. Look, if this is 15 watts, and this other bulb they told us was 60 watts, notice how this is one-fourth of the other value. Well, look, if the total cost of operating the other bulb was $6, then this should be one-fourth of it. I didn't even really have to do the math. I could have just did that, but it might have been confusing. But I'll show it to you now. So it should, the operation of the bulb should be four, uh, not four times, but a fourth of the other 60-watt bulb. So now what I realize is that if the total, if the, if the other bulb costs a total of $6.25, all 
What I realize then is if I subtract this operating cost of 150 for that new CFL, then what I can do, right, 6.25 minus 150, let's just plug it into the calculator, make sure I don't make a mistake. And this works out to be $4.75. So this could now represent the cost of the CFL when you pay for it. Okay, this is the cost of the store. If you pay $4.75 for the CFL, and you knew that it's going to cost $1.50 to run it for 1,000 hours, you would have been in the same position as if you had uh, purchased then the 60 watt bulb for 25 cents, okay? So notice here that the price differential, right? So we can say how many times more expensive, point, so 4.75 divided by 0.25. So you can pay 19 times the price here if this costs 25 cents, right? And then if you're running it for a thousand hours, you can pay 19 times 25 cents for the CFL. And it'll still make, and, and, and you should be indifferent. The longer you run it, the more you should then pay for it. For it to equal out. Hopefully that makes sense because it's cheaper. Anyway, all right, guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I hope this helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Take care.